So, um, first of all, my name is Eric, Eric Fostert, and uh, I'm working for BitNation as uh, Community Director and Lead Ambassador. So, um, to, to just go straight to what we're doing, we're offering peer-to-peer -peer governance services uh, independently from nation-state jurisdictions. So, we're creating a new market for governance services on the blockchain. So, basically, um, you, you can become a user on our app and you can uh, start to make uh, agreements, all kinds of agreements uh, on the blockchain. So it could be uh, marriage, it could be um, a business contract, it could be land titles, it could be um, all kinds of certificates that would need to be notarized by your government, but you could instead uh, timestamp them on a the blockchain and uh, further use our market for dispute resolution instead of going to the government court system that takes a lot of money and time and uh, here you will have a much more convenient uh, solution let's say for your everyday business so uh, we're a holacracy so basically everyone can just join the app as an opt-in solution so everyone can create their own virtual nation with their own guidelines nations and people can uh, become members or citizens of these nations and um, it's a volunteer uh, network let's say where people opt into new laws and constitutions uh, based on their own will and um, we do not let's say impose any uh, constitutional values it's like um, holacracy so everyone can build their own holon and people work together on specific goals and tasks and um, funds and money can be distributed to these holons based on uh, community voting. Um, the idea is that it's like a toolkit. So like, just like you have a toolkit to design a website, you could have a toolkit to design your nation. So uh, you can choose already now from some predefined uh, parameters, like for example your governance system, it could be uh, autocracy, autocracy, democracy, uh, holacracy, meritocracy or theocracy. Um, but in the future it will be possible to even uh, customize it to the way you want it and there will be no restrictions whatsoever. People can create whatever nation they like and um, the users will join this nation as, as they seem fit. So these na uh, nations will have reputation and uh, the nations or jurisdictions will compete with each other based on their customer satisfaction. These virtual nations means that um, you, you cannot only choose your governance uh, style, let's say, whether democracy, dictatorship or any other thing. Uh, you can also choose, for example, uh, if it's a virtual or geographic nation, if it's something ethereal or if it's uh, pertaining to a specific territory. Um, you can choose what kind of services are delivered in this nation. So it could be um, some sort of social uh, services like uh, healthcare, uh, unemployment insurance, or uh, I don't know, general like uh, help, let's say, and aid in, in local communities. But it could also be things like diplomatic services when um, you have, for example, problems with, with other nations or uh, helping you to seek recognition from the international community to become actually a recognized entity in the international uh, lens. Um, and you can choose, uh, for example, what uh, type of law enforcement mechanism you want to choose. So should it be like with the police? If, if you're going to use the same um, laws that already exist in your country, then you could potentially just uh, do it inside of the existing system. Or you could have an uh, ID and reputation model where you no longer need uh, violence to enforce laws, but you rather build up financial and reputational incentives to um, make people want to conform with the laws and to uh, switch, let's say, from this paradigm of, of deterrence that we have today by basically threatening people with a gun uh, to, com com uh, to comply with, with the constitution and the laws of the nation-state jurisdiction. Instead, we could, um, you know, build up an incentive network so uh, people who comply with the laws, they get a good reputation and they get a better, let's say, uh, credibility in the market. And they also get a financial bonus for uh, having a good reputation. And um, yeah, so these are some of the major things that you need to choose. The law enforcement mechanism, the governance system, um, whether you seek uh, diplomatic recognition or not. Or, for example, if it should be for-profit or non-profit nation.
or if you offer the services only for uh, citizens of your nation or also for outside citizens. As of the moment, there's a Google, uh, in the Google Play Store you can find BitNation. It's a very rudimentary version, but you can already create nations and people can join nations and have a conversation. But starting from the next month, we will also add functionalities like uh, purchase agreements, uh, auctions, subscriptions, which could be like taxes basically, um, or ordering passports. So this is something very important for many people to, to have, uh, let's say, new identity at, at the same time as to become a world citizen, you also need the passport and to um, starting from, from now basically build up a uh, reputation and recognition of these passports. For the community funding we want to create a tool like we have already considered. It's a website where people can vote and uh, the, um, based on the voting the Ether funds can be automatically transferred to, to this project. Uh, so this could be also developed upon to, to build a much more interesting, let's say, community tool where people can post uh, social projects and become also like dev entrepreneurs and fund themselves uh, by yeah appealing to the BitNation community. Um, and um, yeah, so as of now um, we're doing the accounting internally, but this should be also an approach worth considering uh, as we become more stabilized, let's say we're still a startup in the early stages. Uh, to put, let's say, the exact accounting also on the blockchain. Uh, I think as soon as, uh, let's say, stable applications are available for that, we could also consider using these. So the problem that we're trying to solve is the uh, geographical part, apartheid that forces people uh, just by the fact that they have been born in one country or the other to just accept the system as it is in the nation, nation state and to accept the border system as well, the, the uh, fictions that we know as, as lines on the map, the, the border system, I mean it's, um, it's, it's basically a system imposed on us by birth and it's not something that we voluntarily opt into. So we want to uh, create an alternative, the non-geographical opt-out. Instead of forcing people to move to an island that is like still not occupied by governments and where people could experiment with new, uh, let's say, governance models, for example, peer-to-peer -peer governance, uh, people should be able to declare their in the, uh, independence and sovereignty virtually without having to move geographically. They can basically live out their freedom on the internet that they already do in a way, but in an informal way, and now we can formalize this through the blockchain. Uh, Olá, meu nome é João Neto, uh, sou o embaixador da BitNation aqui em Lisboa. Um, eu descobri o projeto há cerca de dois anos, através de, pronto, simplesmente um post no Facebook quando o projeto estava, estava a começar e, entretanto, pronto, fui acompanhando o progresso do projeto e pareceu-me bastante interessante porque, na minha perspectiva, pronto, além de permitir ter uma espécie de, de governo a nível de, de uma nação uh, bastante mais ágil, com, com muito mais eficiente em termos de custos, muito mais rápido e e com maior poder democrático, se é que se pode dizer. O BitNation permite não só ter um, pronto, um governo mais eficiente, com um modelo mais democrático, em vez de permitir simplesmente uma democracia em que elegemos representantes, permite ter uma democracia mais direta, em que pronto, referentes não, não, simplesmente não são possíveis apenas de de ano a ano, podem ser feitos constantemente para votar novas leis, um, mas um, além de, de permitir isto ao nível do governo, também permite, uh, permite aos próprios cidadãos uh, construir organizações entre eles, sem, sem ser necessário a autorização do governo, para poderem governar, por exemplo, se quiserem partilhar o Wi-Fi na, na sua aldeia, em vez de terem que que contratar uma empresa uh, que tenha um monopólio, como permite também, uh, de certa forma, fazer com que as, com que as organizações dentro do governo uh, que evoluam. Se precisarem de ajuda a tentar construir a vossa nação ou organização, a usar a BitNation, podem encontrar-me no Facebook.